Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of The Ordinary Critics. I am Isaac, and I'm just an ordinary guy reviewing extraordinary movies. And today we have a segment called WTF, Watch the Film, where we take Netflix original movies and tell them if you should watch it or not. So, today we are reviewing Always Be My Maybe. Yes, it sounds like the Mariah Carey song, Always Be My Baby, which they do use as promotional and stuff, and like the end credits, like Rolling Song, which is brilliant, nice, nicely done. It is uh, produced by Ali Wong and Randall Park. It is written by Ali Wong and Randall Park. And you guessed it, it is starring Ali Wong and Randall Park. Usually I'm a little skeptical on these things where uh, they produce, write, and star in their own stuff. Um, cause it's just like, oh, you're creating to create, which I'm all about seeing as I have a YouTube channel, but it was actually good. It was really good. And, uh, spoiler warning, just so you know, I might be ta I'll touch on a couple of key things, but I'm going to try to keep the big spoilers out of the picture, but here we go. You've been warned. So the main thing with uh, these Netflix original movies during the summertime is they're really finding their niche of getting rom-coms and that are just all ready for summer. Like, uh, to all the ones I've loved before, Kissing Booth, we reviewed both of those on this channel. And the problem that I've had with both of those is that they're, they just take forever to get into the action, the meat of the story. Always Be My Maybe is no different. It does take a long time to set up and all of the action starts happening about half an hour left, with a half an hour left in the movie. Um, it's about 90 minutes, so not like, not a two and a half hour, three hour Avengers Endgame of by any means, but it's still, watching it, it's kind of like, during the most of the beginning of the movie, I'm like, why do I care about these characters? Why do I care about these characters? I really don't care about these characters at all. But I will say that the ending payoff is worth it. It's worth the entire movie. I almost cried, and that's a lot for me. One tear. But no, the, the, the payoff uh, is just everything that they've worked for and set up and set up and set up. And it is a beautiful, beautiful moment at the end of the film. So this, so that is the reason this movie gets my recommendation. The Ordinary Critic's stamp of approval, it's a good. I would give it uh, an 8 out of a 10, which is like a B for our standards. Uh, I go, I'd even go, even go B plus, A minus, just because of that ending. The payoff was so good and I didn't see it coming. And it was just... It made me feel good. It made me feel good, which is really, really nice. And what I like to see with these rom-coms. Um, Ali Wong, Randall Park, they're great. Um, they're very opposites. And so seeing them in this journey, take the journey and all the ups and downs that come with it, fantastic. Um, my favorite part of the movie, and I'm gonna keep this out, is who Ali, Ali Wong's character starts dating my favorite moment of the film, besides, like, the big payoff at the ending. Favorite moment. It's perfect. Perfect. And he's perfect. He can do no wrong, in my eyes. So yes, 8 out of 10, B+. Plus. If you have a chill night in, grab a glass of wine, bottle of wine, whatever you want to do, and check out this rom-com. It is good. Always be my baby. My maybe. Always be my baby is the Mariah Carey song. Always be my maybe is a Netflix original film that you should go check out. <laughs> But thank you so much for watching. Um, hit the like button, subscribe down below for more stuff like this. Leave a comment down below. Did you like it? Do you like rom-coms? Have you heard of the song before? You have. I know you have. I know you have. <laughs> but let us know what you think about the movie and let's have a conversation. And as always, stay ordinary.